make a line I would appreciate if you guys could stay out here where I am and face towards the house so face the way I am facing now so we have one two three four five six seven eight participants that is great we have kinda dry we have Cuker Joss uh, that's I'm going to assume that's how you pronounce it we have Fiedel we have Yellow Cake Mr. Chubbs Coma One Dr. Innocence and this is going to be hard to say Nisam I Alem okay sorry if I butchered anyone's names okay so we have the uh, think that's the uh, diary leggings the lunar top and helm uh, the uh, necklace of anguish a rune crossbow devout boots uh, an avias accumulator Oh yeah, so like a ranged assassin, and that is a, I think, a normal spectral shield. Not sure if it's a blessed one, but it doesn't look like it. Uh, but yeah, I think that is also the Barrow's gloves you're using. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I think that the uh, assassin look of like the uh, top and the head fits really well. Though it is uh, like magic gear, it still fits really well with your assassin thing. I do think there's only um, some things like your boots for example, the yellow stars on them are like a bit too bright but you can also match them maybe with um, like the spectral shield a bit with like holy and all that so it's like a holy ranger which also fits a bit with your necklace even though it's like a bit of the uh, wrong coloring. Uh, but yeah, I would say this is a pretty decent set, I can definitely see what you're trying to do with like an archer, uh, like an assassin archer. So I would say it's a pretty decent set. The uh, One of the downsides though I would say is that the uh, top chest is uh, not matching massively with the legs and the boots. But the thing is at the same time I kind of see how these legs would be decent for like assassin. Uh, for an assassin you know. So I kind of see what you, you were trying to do there. So let's see, look at his gear first right. Uh, he has a white party hat, Dr. Innocence has a white party hat with a graceful cape, the Falador shield, let's see, love the white graceful set and noticed, let me see, uh, it went well with the Mauritania legs. That is very true, I do agree uh, fully. Uh, let's have a look at uh, what items you're wearing. So that is the, I think, uh, Wilderness Diary weapon. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the elite or if it's the hard one. Maybe it's even a lower tier, I'm not completely sure. Uh, the shield is a Falador uh, diary shield. Uh, and we have the legs that you said were the Mauritania legs. Graceful boots, I do believe. Actually, maybe that's maybe not the graceful boots, I'm not completely sure. Uh, the necklace is... Uh, I have actually no idea where the necklace is from and I'm not sure where the chest is from. But... Uh, the set looks really good. What I really enjoy about this set is that the weapon and the belt, shield and the necklace are all red and white in them. Which I think is super super well fitting. Okay, so it's the Desert Ami 2, graceful chest, gloves and boots. Okay, so you have graceful uh, gloves as well. Uh, I would say this is very nice. Uh, it is a lot of graceful items, but I think you can get away with it because how well you fit it with the uh, with the weapon, the necklace and the shield. I think those are like some of the best parts of the set because it makes everything fit together, but not be all white, right? Okay, so let's go to coma one. I am actually going to say that I'm not 100% sure of all these things are. I know that you're wearing a Draymond staff, you're also using I think an explorer's backpack. Uh, I would say that that's the climbing boots and a... Not sure if that's a Fremenic or Desert... I think that's a Fremenic top, but I'm not sure. Uh, you have a monkey speak amulet and the leggings are yak hide legs. Okay, so thank you for that in the uh, comments. Yeah, Fremenic chest. Okay, perfect. So this is obviously like, okay, so also I forgot to say, um, the gloves that you're wearing, I'm actually not sure, it's pretty hard to see what they are. Uh, but they do fit really well with uh, with your set. So this is like a uh, hard leather gloves, okay, yeah, cool. Uh, fits really well, I would say. Uh, so, I would say that the, uh, the head you're wearing is maybe from a clue scroll, I'm not sure. Pith Helmet, exactly, that is a from a clue scroll um, 
I'm not sure if it's for medium clues or hard clues. This could be a desert transmog or like a fashion scape. But I'm all, by the way, sorry, I'm saying like transmog all the time because I'm a WoW player. That's just how it goes. Uh, fashion scape because uh, it could also be a like forester tran transmog. Fashion, uh, which might have actually been your intention. If it was your intention to be more of like a forester, that's pretty cool. So uh, there's like two different things this could be, and I think it is actually really fitting for both of them. Uh, so yeah, I would say this is a pretty good look. I I'm not sure if there's any legs you could use that could fit a bit more. Uh, maybe if you had some lighter legs, because this is like my only gripe with it, that the legs are a bit uh, of a different color. But so was the first guy, right? And I could see how the assassin look would fit with those legs, and that's exactly what I would say for this sweat set as well. Even though it's not exactly the same uh, color, I would say that uh, I understand, especially if this is a a uh, like a forester set, then uh, I would say that those fit really well because it's the grat leggings, and that means you hunted something for it, or not grat, it's um, uh, yak hide legs. Okay, so let's go to the Mr. Chubbs. I assume that this might not be... Oh yeah, it was meant for jungle. Yeah, that's what I kind of what I assumed. It does fit with desert as well, I do believe. So, let's see this now. That is... Holy sh... Okay, so... That's a lot. I would say there's a lot of items here that I probably won't know exactly what they are. Okay, so... The helmet, I actually think, is a hunter item. I'm not sure if that's correct. But I feel like it is some kind of equipment. Let's see here. Clothing. Is it the Grack Hide clothing? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Uh, this crossbow, I know what it is. <laughs> but I... Uh, dude, I'm just looking at this and I just cannot remember the name of it. But I do think it's a hunter item as well. Um, I probably need a reminder of what exactly that is. Hunter's crossbow. Literally, literally just hunter crossbow. That's how clear that was. Uh, then we have the Fremenic shield, I think that is. And the boots. Could that be the new easy clue scroll or maybe beginner clue scroll boots? That I don't remember the names of? Could that be it? Uh, okay, yes. So that was the uh, clue scroll boots. Uh, the skirt is, I feel like, maybe also a Fremenic item. Or I could be wrong on that. Maybe it is a hunter item as well. And the monkey, I know what that monkey is, but I actually have no idea how, how to obtain it. Uh, but I've seen it a couple of times. Moon, uh, Lunar Isle piece? Okay, awesome, yeah, yeah. So, uh, this looks really good, I think. I think it fits really well with uh, probably what you're trying to be. Like, in general, just a hunter with, uh, you know, you even have a monkey pet here who follows you while hunting things. Hopefully, uh, this monkey doesn't see all the things that you do to uh, to animals with, uh, with this set, because then he might not want to be uh, your friend anymore. But, um, yeah, I think an overall very awesome set. Uh, definitely a scary hunter. And uh, I think... A variety of different items like you don't only have like okay full grack set or or you know full uh, of a specific item monkey is after monkey man is too okay yeah that makes sense that's why I, uh, that's why I don't have it because I haven't done the the, the quest I've never seen it and the chess piece uh, what what chess piece exactly is that because I have I don't think I've ever seen that but it very well fits with your helmet frog leather Really? That is interesting. So I think that everything fits really well. Uh, I would say that maybe if you had like darker leggings, that could fit uh, even better. But I don't know which ones that would be. And if there is none that would fit better than what you're wearing right now, because I would say this is probably the second best if there is uh, other leggings that are darker. Okay, let's go to yellow cake. Let's see what Yellow Cake has as a fashion scape. Okay, okay, so we have, uh, I think that's the Armadil book with a farming cape, as well as Armadil chest and leggings with Pegasian boots. Uh, that amulet is. Ooh, I'm not sure. Could that be an Ornet Occult necklace? 
and the uh, yeah ornate occult necklace and then we have the scepter that you get from the uh, stronghold of security and the one item that I am unsure of is your hat where did you get that hat and what is the name of it maybe it's somewhere very obvious but I, I actually uh, have no idea farmers okay so it's from uh, somewhere with farming tithe farm okay yeah yeah so I think that the color scheme in this is very strong in the way that everything is pretty much uh, white fits with a book, uh, white and yellow with the armadillo theme and then also the staff that you have right here, it does have some black in it but in general I think that every color scheme here is very nice because you also have the boots that have some white in them but also primarily is green which is exactly what your cape has if you actually look at the two different green colors in your cape you have the darker green and you have the lighter green and if you look at these boots the lighter parts of these are actually a bit lighter green i th i would say personally and uh, it fits super well with your set in general but um it is also for the chest piece and the leggings, it is just armadillo items and the book as well is an armadillo item. So it is three items basically from the same set you could say. Even though the, the uh, book is not really in the same set, it is from the same type of uh, part of the game you could say. But I also really like how you have the occult ornament necklace because the uh, smoke devil part of it fits with your armor gear and the occult part of the necklace fits with your hair. So that is a very nice touch that you, uh, if you intended that, that was really nice. So I would say it's uh, also a very nice set. Uh, I'm not sure what you could improve on it right now, but uh, if you wanted to be more unique, maybe there were some leggings that you could use or a chest piece, uh, or maybe something in your offhand that could make it a bit more um, not just armadillo items, if that makes sense. But regardless, some very nice touches to that set. We have four people left. So let's see Fiedel's set. <laughs> I'd like to take one step forward. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, by the way, so far, I'm really impressed with you guys. I think all the sets I've looked at so far has been pretty good. Okay, so this is going to be a huge challenge for me because I am very unsure of most of these items Which is awesome because that means it's a very unique set though I will say that you do have one two three four items of the same set and that I mean it fits really well with your pets and uh, Yeah corrupted outfits. Yeah for sure um, and then you have a max cape that is, by the way, also max cape. Um, that is also on the same color scheme. Uh, I actually want to see your necklace is... It's a bit hard to see here, so I'm going to move on step. Um, very unsure what that necklace is. Uh, actually, for some reason I feel like that's a, like a salva amulet, but it probably isn't. Amulet of the Damned? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, amulet of the Damned uh, with... Uh, okay, so one two three four items of the same set, which I actually don't know which set that is But it looks very nice uh, As I said it fits with your uh, pet as well Which I won't give you extra points for because I said I wouldn't be able to give uh, extra points for pets But it is a very nice touch. Uh, I will say that also the weapon uh, Is it is gray, but it does have that purple aura around it Which uh, I understand fits with your set uh, the boots also I'm not sure if there are any boots that would fit with this set because it is transparent So I understand that it could look a bit like it's uh, it pops out like your boots pops out really really hard compared to Like everything else that you're wearing. I mean your weapon and your boots both pop out because they're not transparent uh, But your weapon still has that transparent aspect into it Um I would say this is a very very nice set, but I would also say that it is four pieces of a set. So uh, it is, I would say the best parts of your set is your weapon and your necklace. And I think that in general it looks very good, but it is four pieces. Quaker Joss. Show me. There is ghostly boots from a mini quest, might be good for that outfit. Yeah, probably. I would say that's probably pretty good. 
Okay, so let's see here. We have a thing that's a... Uh, ooh, I can't remember... Uh, that's a white cavalier, right? Cavalier. Uh, with a fire cape, a Saradomin staff. And we have the... Uh, I'm, I'm drawing blanks now. What is the uh, the names of these sets? It's the prayer ones from Easy Clues. I can't remember the names of them. Oh, Staff of Light. Of course, Staff of Light. Sorry. Uh, the Crystal Shield. Uh, no necklace, I would say. And it doesn't look like any boots. Maybe there is boots, but... I'm not sure. Vestment robes. Exactly, vestment robes. Thank you. Uh... So yeah, and also with a pet that fits pretty decently, the white color. Uh, I would say that it's a pretty nice set. The uh, fire cape red fits with the... Well, it's not the same type of red, except for right here. The part of the cape that goes towards your back is the same red as, your, uh, as the red on your robes. Though on the back here, it is not the same red. Though, I would say that maybe this red, or orange, more like, is the same as this yellow, or it's getting closer to it, but it's not exactly the same. Um, your beard also matches with the red on your vestment robes, and the hat is a nice... Is, is the white of the hat actually the same white as this? Not sure if it is, but um, that's maybe a bit too picky. I do think that the set looks pretty good. But I would say it's a bit basic. Uh, it's just like, okay, these two items fit together. I have a fire cape and a cavalier and the crystal shield. Though I would say that I really like the touch of the fire cape towards your back. The part of the fire cape that's towards your back fits with your vestment robes. Um, it's a very nice touch, I would say. And uh, pretty good fashion scape in general, I would say. So let's go to kinda dry right here. Let's see what you have. We're getting closer to the uh, to the end here. Ooh, top hat. That okay, okay, guys. Is that like a? <laughs> okay, this actually impressed me quite a bit. Um, oh man, this is a Dagon High bottom with a. That is a um, Shazian top tier. Four or five, I think. I might be wrong, but I I'm, I know it's one of the Shazian tops. Tier 2. Okay, tier 2. Tier 2. With a top hat, the cape is... Ooh, that is... Uh, oh, I recognize that cape so much. Uh, but I can't put my finger on it. What what cape is that? Corru oh, of course. Corrupted Gauntlet. The reason why I recognized it was because I'm actually planning on doing the Corrupted Gauntlet pretty soon. Took me 12, 12 hours to get first KC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now it's probably easier for you, right? That's usually how it works. Uh, monocle. And... Wait, Monocle? How did you get that with the... Is that like a... If your head is a top hat, then how do you get the Monocle on? Is that like a... Off piece here? Like a bronze ball spot? Oh, it's part of it. Okay, I see. Uh, so we have the, uh, wait, necklace, I actually don't know at all where that necklace is from. Is it like some ornament kit necklace? Because I've actually never seen that. Actually, uh, meanwhile you say that, Berserker with ornament kit, wow. That fits so well with your top. It is actually insane. Uh, the sword is, I think, a clue scroll item uh, from Elites or Masters. Uh, I can't see if you have any boots on, so I can't really judge you on that because of the row bottom show or blocking. Katana, yeah, yeah, katana. Uh, is that actually from Elites or Masters? But I, I, I'm pretty sure it's from uh, Crew Scrolls. Uh, is there any items I'm missing? Your gloves, I assume, is just the Shazian gloves because they seem to be fitting super well into your uh, chest piece. And uh, the cape is excellent for this set, mainly because you can see it from this side. It, you just look like, you look like Count Dracula, who, who is chasing gloves too, yeah, excellent. Uh, you look like uh, a samurai vampire, like Dracula, right? Well, Dracula is a vampire, but yeah, you look like a samurai Dracula, who is also a professor at the same time, and you're actually badass. <laughs> That's what I'm getting from this set. I really, really like this set. I really like it.
So let's go to Shaft now, the uh, the legend. Is this the set that you want me to judge? Uh, I'm always just asking that beforehand because maybe some of you don't want to show off your full sets before. <laughs> Shaft might be dead. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I'll give it like 5 seconds and then uh, I'll judge him off this set. I'm going to assume this is uh, his set in general because it looks pretty good. Okay. So, I think that the boots here uh, are the Wirewatch boots. Uh, not 100% on that, but it definitely looks like them. Uh, the chest piece is... Oh god, what is that? That looks like black armor, but it looks ornamented somehow. But I know that in RS3 there is like this uh, chest piece as black elite or something, but I'm not sure if that actually exists in OSRS. So it might be a quest item. Uh, very unsure of that. Also, I think the leggings are uh, just the ornament ornament armor. Okay, thank you for that. Um, I'm learning so many new things here. That's that's excellent. Thank you guys for uh, letting me know all these pieces also. Uh, the ones I don't know. So we have the Varax helm as well, which uh, I would say that the color scheme of the tail here fits good with the set. But I would say that the helmet in general does not perfectly fit with the color scheme. Uh, though I do understand what he was trying to do. He was like, you know, the uh, that's a disconnect. That's a feels bad man. <laughs> that is a feels bad man. I would say though that um, the set in general, I can just talk because I remember the set. It was an amulet of torture uh, with the wire watch boots and leggings. And then the uh, ornament uh, black chest please, piece. Where I didn't get time to see the cape, but um, it was the, uh, the flail as well. The uh, I can't remember the name. Okay, here we go. He's back again. Uh, and the, uh, yeah, a cape I'm not actually certain of. And then the Avernic Defender. So, this is like a, like an upgraded. So, okay, listen, listen, guys. Listen, guys. This is like, he has spandex, right? Spandex, look at that. And then he has uh, the boots. They go up here. If they were like up here. Via Noble Legs from New Quest. Yeah, yeah. They, pr they feel pretty good. But um, you're like heavy armor up here, the helmet as well, and then you have like yoga pants uh, with high socks. <laughs> but I do see like, of course, yeah, it fits really well color scheme wise. Uh, but yeah, that's that's rocking yoga pants with uh, with heavy armor. Looks pretty good though. I'm not gonna diss that. By the way, just wanna say, I think that if you found some helmet that was like in general with more the color scheme of your chest plate this set would be like super good maybe even a normal black helm like uh, full would be a pretty good one uh, for that set i would have to see it on you though first to be able to say yeah or no but yeah pretty good okay so let's see the last contestant 60 c <laughs> is this the line for the pubs okay Maybe it will be after this competition. Maybe it will be. Okay, so we have uh, the manacles. We have nothing on the legs and nothing on the chest that I can see. Pirate's hook. We have uh, Ale of the Gods. You know what, guys? I'm going to do this, okay? Anyone who joins after this guy right here, uh, no more entries, okay? If you join after, uh, like, if you want to come now, you're too late, okay? This guy right here, Skeleton, is the last guy. Okay? No more after this. We have the Halo from Last Man Standing, pretty sure. We have the Berserker Ornament Kit necklace that we saw this guy use as well. Very nice uh, necklace. Definitely might steal that for my personal fashion scape in the future. We have an Inferno Cape, actual gamer we have here, guys. Fits super well with your uh, with your halo right there, and uh, in general, I would say that you look like a very rich pirate who stumbled upon some insanely valuable items, who were caught by some other pirates and chained up, but you were so badass that you escaped, meanwhile being drunk. So you still have the the chains here, right? You just couldn't be bothered to take them off because you were busy drinking. Is this mine? Yep. If that's accurate, you know, that's my take on it. And I think it's a very cool idea. 
I really like it because, well, the ch you have no chest piece and no legs, right? So technically, you're missing two items that you could have put together, but you didn't. And it was definitely a choice, right? It was definitely like, oh, I'm going to do this because I'm just a normal, like... It's like a drunk pirate who stumbled upon a lot of treasures. That That's what it feels like for me, especially with a necklace. I, I, I'm not sure if there's like anything that I would change with this. Uh, I do think mm, at the same time I was gonna say if you would like go for a more piratey theme You could go with the uh, last man standing uh, Wind capes that have a skull on the uh, back of it, but at the same time That would not fit as well with your halo. So I have a feeling that the cape is is pretty good for uh, for the halo match there Though I'm not sure why like the reasoning behind I can see a drunken pirate have this is just if he stumble upon the treasures <laughs> Going into lore here with uh, with fashion. So let's go to the last one regardless of uh, Anything if you join now, it's too late Skeleton what fashion scape do you have? Uh, the sword is actually blocking a bit so I can't really see okay, so that is the occult ornament uh, necklace as well uh, with uh, is that chess piece a... No, that is not the just Justiciar, is it? Maybe it is the Justiciar, uh, with the Justiciar leggings as well. And then we have the Devout Boots, and a Saradomin God Sword with a Face Guard. Nate is not Face Guard. And we have a Magic Cape, and the gloves are the Barrow's Gloves. Okay, so uh, let's have a look. The blue here matches with your cape. The uh, see what other colors match. Uh, we have, of course, the leggings and the chest matching because they are a set. They fit really well with. Um, it's like a prayer, like a holy um, warrior set, like a paladin set, right? I think that the uh, the color of the cape fits, but I don't like um, a paladin isn't really a magician, but I see how the colors match really well. So that really does make sense. So I'm not going to fault you for that. Uh, the only thing that might not fit is like the uh, the purple here on the occult necklace, right there. Uh, otherwise, I think every everything in the set fits really well, and uh, I'm happy about you like not picking the uh, <laughs> just your helmet because then I would. Uh, rate it way lower the fact that you actually picked a separate helm for it And I do think that the Nate is not face guard is a good fit But I don't think the Nate is not helmet would have been as good of a fit because the Nate is not helmet the normal one uh, Does not actually have this yellow thing right here, which is like uh, even more matching with the Saradomin sword I'm pretty sure that's the case uh, So that fits even better and also the boots here fits uh the, also, the holy theme, of course, fits really well. Uh, it is a darker blue color here than I think your uh, boots are, or not the boots, uh, the um, uh, skirt is, and also the cape. But I do think that it is very hard to find any other boots that would fit better than the devout boots. So, I would say, in general, a good set. A good holy paladin, or uh, like a crusader set. So, with that said, we have now looked at all the sets and uh, commented on them. I want to say thank you all for participating. We have right here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 people who participated in this and uh, I'm going to say before- oh yeah, I'm going to take a print screen. Uh, <laughs> before I started my stream I was scared that no one would come because uh, I'm not sure like I haven't done any community events before and uh, therefore I was uh, not sure how many people would actually want to take part in this So thank you guys so much for actually and I have to say these sets are amazing. I'm actually stunned by how good these were So awesome sets, uh, but there has to be a winner and uh, soon I will uh, say that but first I have to take a print screen So give me one second here number three is going to be Is going to be who is it going to be? It is going to be 60s. X 60c. I'm sorry for butchering your name. It is a very minimalistic set, but I really like it because it has a whole like character around it, right? And even if I didn't actually like 
managed to hit you right on the spot what your intentions were with the set. I'm not sure what your intentions of the set was, but I really, really, in general, like the whole, um, like, idea of the set. At least the way I see it. Which is like a rich pirate, right? Which still has, like, some battle scars here. Even the leggings, or the legs that you have the, by default, like the ones you picked when you made your character or changed, um, they fit really well. And the manacles and everything. So I would say solid third spots really impressed me. Good job. 60C. Second place. What is second place going to be? Second place is... Mr. Chubbs. I, when I saw this set instantly, I also really enjoyed it. Because of also the reasoning behind it being it looks really good. Really, really good in general. And uh, what do you say shit? That's so good though. Second place, that's awesome. Um, and you have like this pet with you. And uh, it fits really well with uh, like your chest and your head fits super well. And you you truly are a hunter. You even have boots that are parts of an animal. And you have an animal like the, the monkey that's following you. And as I said, hopefully... Uh, you don't actually show him when you slaughter uh, all the uh, animals. Because maybe that's going to be traumatic for him. The fact that you also literally have a crossbow that's called Hunter's Crossbow. It's so nice. <laughs> Everything I do with the monkey is PG-13. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so now let's uh, see who is the winner. Again, thank you all for participating. It's been super fun. And... Um, I hope you guys actually did enjoy it as well. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed actually seeing all these sets. Uh, even if you didn't win or whatever happened. Uh, seeing all these sets, in my opinion, is really awesome in itself. Okay, so who is going to be the winner of the 15 million? Is it going to be Skeleton, Yellow Cake, Fiddle, Kinda Dry, Coma One, Dr. Innocence, Nisam I Alem? Who is it going to be? Come on, guys. I think everyone knows the winner is kinda dry. This set is actually insane. I mean, I have... Uh, honestly, this set is the most insane set I have ever seen. But I have to, like... Every, there was no one here that was bad. I'm serious. There was no one here that I was like, okay, this is kinda bad. And that really surprised me. So, really good job to everyone. But I have to say, this set is on another level. Like, as I said, this is like a samurai Dracula who's also like a scientist. <laughs> it's actually insane. With this flame, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I'm going to trade you the money. And I uh, hope you make good use of this money or... Uh, <laughs> do whatever you want with them. But you are the winner of the 15 million and super well deserved because that set is just nuts. The necklace just fits so well with everything else. I really like that you also, like, you choose the Dagon High robes instead of just taking the Chasian legs as well. Because if you would have taken the Chasian legs, I would probably have been like, yeah, it looks very good, right? But it's not, like... If it's all a Shazian armor, then it's like, oh, it's just a Shazian armor. That's all, right? But you actually decided to take the uh, the uh, robe bottom as well, which fits super well with the theme in general. And yeah, it's it's excellent. Thank you for partic participating. Once again, I am like a broken record, but it means a lot. Like a lot, a lot, a lot. And I would love to do more of this in the future. So uh, take care, guys. And I will see you guys another time with uh, something else.